Hello and welcome to the next episode of Build Your Own X-Wing and we will be looking at what comes in issue 47 and 48 this time but I just want to say hello, how are you? Uh, I want to start off by apologising. Um, this video should have gone out last week, I completely missed that. Work has been absolutely insane and I think it addled my brain a bit. Um, so I sh this video should have gone out last week, uh, I'm completely sorry I missed it. Um, it's going out this week instead, obviously. Uh, yeah, just just adult, you know, being in this lockdown, I'm still in lockdown, I'm still working from home. So I, I'm losing kind of sense of the weeks. Um, so I am sorry about that. Another thing that really kind of threw me last weekend is that we had to go get COVID testing, talking about lockdown. Yeah, uh, the household showed some symptoms of COVID. So uh, we went to go get checked. I've got my little test card here. Uh, what I like most about it is this here. Thank you for attending your COVID test and completing. Thank you for attending and completing your test for COVID-19 today. Well, you are welcome. I didn't have much of a choice though, did I? I didn't have much of a choice. But yeah, um, I should say we're fine. Absolutely fine. Uh, we don't have it. It came back negative. Um, yeah, so for those people who are a bit curious about the test, they stick a swab into your throat and the same swab up your nose uh, and that's it. It's a little unpleasant, but that is it. And then you get the results in the UK anyway, you get the results within 48 hours uh, through text and email. And then in the UK, it gives you a code to put into the NHS app so that they can monitor it that way. Um, I encourage you to get the app. Um, I don't really know why. Uh, and I understand people's kind of reservations about the app but I've got the app because anything to get out of this situation quicker right I guess the only thing really will be a vaccine so fingers crossed for a vaccine soon um but yeah we're all fine now um but yeah all of that just kind of addled my brain um what else have I done this week so these last two weeks um I've kind of this is a bit of a random left field thing but I've kind of gone back into got back into Go Kaija. Now, uh, for those of you who've followed this channel for a time, you know that I'm a Power Rangers fan. Uh, when I did my Man Cave video, you saw some Power Rangers stuff and also some Go Kaija stuff. It is the only Super Sentai series I've really watched and enjoyed. I watched half of Go Ghost, Ghostbusters, Go Busters as well, the one that came after it, but I dropped off of that. But I love Go Kaija. It is kind of renowned as one of the best Super Sentai series. So go check it out if you haven't. Um, now I already had the figure arts for it and I already had the Mobarets and the Cellular and two of the Megazords but I've, I've, for some reason I've got back into it and I've started to collect um, all the auxiliary Zords, the Gokai machines as well. I mean we're talking proper toy stuff here. These aren't like high-end collectibles. I can't even pass them off to the wife or family as high-end collectibles. These are just toys that flap. Um, <laughs> I don't really know how or why I've gone back into it, but I have. Um, so this is what I've been spending a lot of my time doing, just picking up cars and toys. Yep. I don't know why, I guess I just need something to lift the mood. Um, to be fair, lockdown has been all right for me, but the weather has really helped. I suffer, I suffer from sad syndrome, so that gorgeous hot weather that we've had pretty much since April has started to disappear in the UK. So I'm kind of looking at ways to kind of just entertain myself, as I'm sure we all are. So for me, it's going back to my childhood and picking up toys <laughs> like lions. I don't know why, but um, I recommend you go check out Go Kaija if you want something to watch. Um, Japanese Super Sentai series has been around for years and it is one of the best, if not the best. So yeah, oh actually I'll tell you what, I've also picked up um I'll only show I'll show two. Uh, I've also I also picked up these. Look at that. For all your Final Fantasy fans out there. A little uh little square uh, little cloud as he is in the original game. I, say, I was going to say Square Enix because I've just seen that it says Square Enix on his belt there. Uh, you also get Tifa. There you go. There's Tifa there. These are fantastic. Um, oh, I might as well just show them all. I gave Rude to my daughter. Uh, sorry, I gave Rude to my daughter because uh, it reminded her of Youngblood. So there we go. He's now, she's now got pixelated Youngblood. There's Aerith. Looking very nice. 
and there's Barrett. There we go. There's Sephiroth. These are just amazing, actually. And there's Red 13. <laughs> Little doggy with one eye. I don't know how long his tail was, actually. But yeah, so um, um, I've kind of just been spending little bits of money on me, which is really daft before Christmas, actually. Um, I'll only get socks for Christmas anyway. I probably won't. I don't know. Yes, I just think, just think, try and do something because we can't go out and socialise. We can't go out and see films or eat out, really. I mean, I don't feel comfortable doing that because you just don't know. And I don't really want to go through getting tested again. So I'm just kind of filling up the man cave with more junk, really. Um, yeah, so that has been me, really. I really should do more Final Fantasy on the channel. I think I really should. Um, and I know that some of you want to see more collectible stuff as well. So... Yeah, I, I think, I, you know, if work calms down a bit and um, yeah, I think I will do that. I think I will do that. So, yeah, enough of me waffling and talking about my collection. That is not what you're here for. You are here to see the next part of the X-Wing build where we are looking at issues 47 and 48 of the X-Wing. So we're going to look at that now. Of course, we are finishing off the third wing of this four wing X-Wing. And here is where we left off with all of these parts very neatly put in place just checking the audio is on it is because <laughs> last time it wasn't just going to put the wing aside for just a moment and bring in a couple of the parts that we get in issue 47 so uh the first parts we're going to look at actually are these two parts here let's just zoom in a little bit uh we've seen these things before uh they're just little extra details detailing on the um on the wing of the X-Wing, so we need to get this part here and we need to push, sorry, need to push this part in there like that. Actually, that went in pretty quickly. I was just about to say, usually it's a tough time pushing those parts in, but no, they're in there like that. And I love how they look like they're weathered uh, metal bolts when it's all done there, looking lovely. Uh, this then attaches onto this part here in this cutout hole here for it and we just push that in there you can glue it if you wish to with those two holes there but that is pretty secure so I am not going to do it at this stage uh, we also get this part here which is a lovely again a lovely nice little bit of detailing and that just matches that shape there and we just push it in Uh, there's no real way to glue that in if you but there well there is you can get glue down that little gap there but there isn't a big hole so I just want to make sure that, that is pushed in and secure and I think it is okay so that is that detailing part all done and that of course sits on the wing we've seen this before into these two holes here make sure I got it the right way up you have it this way with these two pegs there and you just push that in there. There's a little piece of extra detailing uh, behind this thruster part here, which looks great. Uh, now that we have all this part in, um, now we have that part in, it's time to kind of look at the rest of the wing. Uh, now, there is... Ah, okay. One of my wires seems to have gone missing. I wonder what's happened to that. Be right back. I took it out because I didn't want it to um, be loose for this part. But we need to put in this wire now because we are going to attach up everything in the wing as we are finishing it off. So let me just put this part in there like that. And then we thread all of this around, keeping it out of the way of screw holes and the like. Uh, now, this is where this part comes in. So let's just take off that part we just did because we need to feed it through and then attach it like so. And there is a little hole there right where my thumb is. That's a little gap for all this wiring. So I just need to make sure that we don't cut off the wiring at this point a little fiddly but I think I've just done it I have lovely so you see there's a little 
a hole there in this piece for the wiring to go through and then it comes out and around and out here right now that I have both of those wires in um, and actually there are three little pegs here which you can push the wires into to make them even more secure so there's one there and there's one there okay so now that those wires are in we need to just attach this part to kind of hide it all um, and just having a look on the instructions so these three parts here go into this slot this slot and this slot so again just make sure that the wiring is out the way like so and then we just push that part down there like that and you see it closes up there I mean the paint job does look very different actually on this side which is a bit of a shame but that gets plugged on there we'll screw that in in just a moment uh, but just before we screw it in I just want to attach this part which is the covering for this engine part so there's four holes as you can see here one hole there one there one there one there four pegs and you just line up the holes with the pegs and push it in to secure it oh there you go you hear that click so that is in there like that so uh, I'm just going to go ahead now and screw these in. And there we have it like that. Um, now that is a bit unsightly as uh, just having three black dots um, in this area here. And uh, Diagostini know this and they gave kind of little screw covers just for this part, which is a little bizarre because they don't do it across the board. But um, and actually they've made they've made them quite dark so um there isn't that much difference i suppose there is between the black and the gray of the screw covers um but yeah it is nicer than looking at screws so we have those three very specific blast marks there <laughs> on my wing um yeah so that is that part all done it's it's made it look really secure and, and really bulky so I quite like that we are now moving on to this side of the wing and looking at the parts we get in issue 48 and the first two parts we get are these two parts here uh, and they will attach going back up here actually um, just to kind of round this piece off and um, cover some of the screw holes as well so the first piece is this one with all the ridges this one has ridges this one is smoother and if I just get this part correct yes okay so um there are two little notches here on this part here and here uh, they correspond with the two notches on this framework part here so you put it in this way under that part we just put in and just push it down that went in very very easily actually so maybe a drop of glue is needed but it isn't going to come out because you can't really pick it out and it isn't going to fall out so no that is in there securely and then this round one here uh, it's it's round to a point and then it has this lovely flat end there and it's the flat end that goes on this side so we just line everything up there oops oops and eventually ah there we go it push in like that there we go so there's just some extra detailing there into the real belly of this underwing there which is very very nice uh the next thing that we need to do is attach the cannon now where's the cannon gone for me uh i'm just gonna look for the cannon be right back oh no here it is and i'm back and i had safely stored it away because <laughs> i didn't want to get any kind of uh paint damage on this painted part so we're attaching the cannon now obviously because we are finishing off the wing the first thing that we need to do is push the wire of the cannon through this hole here it will go through or will it go through hold on am i doing this wrong no it will go through I just don't seem to be getting it in. Let's flip this around and make sure. Oh, okay. That's bizarre. Uh, 
Yeah, okay, that's one going wrong. Let's just push on that way. Okay, and then, oh, this wire has come undone again. So let's feed it around the edges again. We plug it in here. Let's see if I can get this closer so you can see. There's a little kind of notch on this peg and a hole here, so you can really tell how that's meant to go in. Uh, uh, I'll reattach that actually, that's a later date, the wire, because the first thing uh, before we attach, before we finish off the wing is that we are attaching this um, laser cannon, so I'm just making a bit of a hash of this aren't I? I'm just lining up the holes and the peg holes there so that it leaves three peg holes exposed and I'm just going to screw it together now. And there we have it and I want to apologise for the audio dipping quality from looking for the cannon to finding it. I leant on the laptop <laughs> in looking for the cannon so um, yeah I don't know whether it dropped off till I edit it but um, yeah, sorry about that. The audio is back. I am a professional video editor, I promise. <laughs> I really do promise. Okay, so that is now all installed there, lovely and secure. So for the final time, let's get all of this wiring neat and tidy and out of the way. So that just presses in there and doubles back because this part needs to fit in here like that make sure we get it all out of the way of any kind of lug holes that could come into play in fact I remember from last time this part really does need to be sunk in otherwise we can't get the final piece on so come on I think that's as sunk in as it's going to be. It's going to have to do. Okay, moment of truth. Let's attach this part and see what happens. So, yeah, this is lovely because I love this kind of slightly different paint scheme we've got going here. These two paints we've seen before, the colours we've seen before, but this is a new colour. So I really, really love that attention to detail. And, of course, we are just matching the shape up again to the hole. And yeah, I can already tell that that is going to be a bit of a problem. So just need to make sure that this part, this wire here, is as flush to all of this as it can be. Otherwise, the final piece isn't going to fit in. Ah, there you go. I think I finally got it. I think I finally got it. Why doesn't this stay in? Does anyone else have this kind of trouble when you got to this stage? Just it not wanting to stay in. Maybe just boot strength is the answer. Okay, there's some click in there, which is good. Some click in there, which is good. I'm not going clicking up here though. Okay, that is how that part goes on, but I'm not going to waste any more of your time for now because, um, yeah, obviously I need to play around with these wires and make sure that it is all attached, and I will do that off camera. There is one more thing I want to do, um, and I think it's very wise that I do it now, actually, before I put this part on, thinking about it, and that is just reach over and, oops, and test the... Um, that the uh, the light up features do still work. So I've got my battery test box here. I'm going to plug it into one of these wires here. And yep, yeah. oh, crack it's so big. That engine is on. Da da. So the engine works fantastic. Let's see if the laser turret works. Oh. That's not good. Maybe just go, go the wrong way. Okay, yes, good. There's the laser turret all working. 
Grand. So the electronics work. Um, I've just got to fiddle about and make sure that that part attaches. But when that is attached, that is the third wing all done. Three wings out of four on this X-Wing build. And uh, I've said it before, they are the main part of the X-Wing, so it makes sense to build them. Um, but they are time consuming. And we're in 50 issues in and uh, it's been mainly wings. And I have to say that next week we do cover issue 50. And in issue 49, the one before it, which we'll also cover next week, we're starting the fourth wing. <laughs> so it's more wings for the foreseeable. Um, I imagine that will last another 10 issues and then we get on to the rest of the X-Wing. So join me next time for the beginning of the fourth wing of this X-Wing build and more chat and stuff like that. Keep safe out there, guys. I know it's all gone a bit off the wall again especially in the UK with this new system. But as long as you keep safe and keep happy, that's all that matters. And we will get past this and it will be over before we know it. I promise you, it'll be over before we know it and life can get back to normal. So until then, guys, keep safe, keep distracted, take care. Bye bye.